Praise him. This is your man, Deacon Bradley, coming at you from Grady Ridge Temple Taylor, where that beautiful church is located in Taylor, Michigan. Hey, listen, we got a hot class for you. Sunday Bible school is on and Holy Ghost popping. We got a new young adult class designed just for you. That's right. Get up off the couch. Get out of the basement. Come on out. Come on out of that dorm and come out to Sunday Bible school. We got a young adult class. It's hot. The quarterly theme is Adidas. That's right, Adidas. All day I dream about salvation. Coming from Isaiah chapter number 26 and verse number 3. Listen, we're dealing with cutting edge issues that's dealing specifically for things that you're going through. You got a lot of young adults that are single parents and young adults that are struggling with their Christianity out there on campus. Listen, don't worry. Some of you even have questions about God, like if God is so good, why is the world so corrupt? What's going on in the hip hop world? What's going on in the urban culture? What's going on with our poor schools? And what's going on with the church? You know, a lot of people got a lot of questions about it, but listen, this class is designed specifically for you, not only to meet your spiritual needs, but also to develop and provoke critical thinking. Once again, you need to bring your friend, bring your neighbor. Come on out to Great Grace Temple Taylor. We're located out here in Taylor, Michigan, 24111 Cough Street in the great city of Taylor, Michigan. Even call at 313-295-4472. The number at the bottom of your screen where our pastor is none other than Bishop Gary Harper and our general superintendent is Evangelist Rita Green. We need you to come on out. Be a part of, be a part of this. Let the Lord deal with you coming from the Word of God. Hey, I look forward to seeing you. Class starts at 915 sharp. Thank you. Peace out. Because he died for us. Because he cried for us. Because the spirit of God, he lives inside of us. He took the rap for us. He took a slap for us. They put him in the grave in three days. He came back for us. Let's just talk about Rock Aware in and of itself. R&B superstar Sierra is signed to be the new face for Rock Aware. In March 2007, Jay-Z sold the rights to Rock Aware brand to iconic brand group for $204 million. And the sad part about that is, is that Jay, uh, Damon Dash, sold it to Jay-Z for $20 million. You, you like that, Bryce? Right? So, you, you can see it from right here. <laughs> 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 yeah. He sold it for twenty million to Jay and thought he was getting over. Jay turned around and sells it for two hundred and four million. <laughs> right? How many of us have them? Right. Jay Z will retain his stake in the company. Will continue to oversee the marketing, the license, the product development. So even though he sold it for two and four million, he holds a major stock in it and still plays all these roles in distributing as long as creative design. In March two thousand nine, Rockware launched its first social networking site offering style, news, music, fashion, culture connections. August 2000, Jay Z confirmed via Twitter that Rock Aware had partnered with Pharrell Williams' closed label, Billionaire Boys Club. You guys knew, knew, knew that? You knew that? And let's deal with the real Rock Aware, just briefly, okay? Let's deal with the heart and mind as we, we line this up, wrap this up. Jesus is the real Rock Aware. You, you do understand it. Jesus is the Rock, and we're supposed to put on Christ. So you're supposed to be, you're supposed to have rock and wear everything on and, and spiritually and never take it off. First Corinthians 10 and 4 says, and all of them that drank of that same miraculous water, for they all drank from the miraculous rock that traveled with them. And that rock was Christ. Galatians 3.27, for as many of us that have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. If you are actually wearing, if you are actually baptized and filled with the Spirit, you're supposed to always wear 
the spiritual rockerware. You're supposed to have Christ on at all times, from head to toe, constantly, all the time. You never, ever take off Christ. Christ is with you in all circumstances. Let me tell you this. Christ is all present, but though he's everywhere, he's not in everything. He's not in everything we do. Second Samuel 2, 1 through 3 says, these are the words he's saying. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my savior, my God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the strength of my salvation and my stronghold, my high tower. What does it say? <laughs> my high tower, my savior, the one who saves me from violence. Your Glock 40 should not be the one you trusted. Your double barrel shotgun that you got sawed off, which I don't understand why people saw it off. Because the purpose of the handle is to give the gun balance when you actually pull the trigger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, not supposed, you're not supposed to solve the tip so it can blow, <laughs> so, so the pellets or slugs can go anywhere. And you're not supposed to cut off of the back because of the way that it kicks. And I know you can't put no faith in nothing like that. No, the Lord is my rock. And you have to understand what that meant. That in David's time, when in the children of Israel, back in the olden days as we call it, when the kings were after him and because Israel had so many mountains, he could slide into the mountain and be in the dark cave and sit in the very bottom and it would be so black, couldn't nobody find him. And it would be a refuge unto the person who was fleeing. God is that, that even though they may take our spirit, somebody may take our physical lives, there is nobody that can touch your spiritual life. Nobody. And we have to elevate our game to the extent that we understand that our spiritual life holds more value than our natural because you don't know when you're going to die anyway. You do not know when you want to go. And you need to know where you are going. We put more, we invest more time in our 401k as it relates to investment than we do spiritually. A lot of us really don't know if we were to walk outside of here and get struck by lightning where we're going. And that wouldn't make any sense. When all the Lord wants you to do is submit yourself to him so he can love you. So because you need to keep on your rock aware. <laughs> you need to keep your rock aware on. Psalms 1846. And the Lord liveth and blessed be my rock and let the God of my salvation be exalted. The original Rockefellers. Jesus called his 12 disciples to him and gave them the authority to cast out evil spirits, heal every kind of disease and illness. Here are the names of the 12. You got my man Pete. And he stayed packing. You know why? The scripture says that when the priest came to take Jesus when they were in the garden, that he was the one that cut off the high priest's ear. You can only do that if you pack it. Do you understand that? You gotta already be packing to cut anybody. Let me put it in hood terms. My man came out the alley. He put out one of the DPD Glock 40s and put one right in his shoulder. Now, you only can do that if you already carrying heat. <laughs> Andrew Preta's brother. They come up in the same house and they brothers. So they even say to it, they could be goons together. 
James, the son of Zebedee, John, his brother, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, whose also name is Didymus, who is the real Doubting Diddy. <laughs> Thomas's name was Didymus. He's the Doubting Diddy. He is the first Diddy. <laughs> Matthew, the tax collector, James, son of Albeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas the Scarab, who also betrayed him. Because what he did, Alpo couldn't compare. You know, anybody know the Paid in Full story? Or saw the paid, movie Paid in Full? Raise your hand if you saw the movie Paid in Full. <laughs> or you have a knowledge of it, right? That's based upon what three characters? Real characters. AZ, Richie Porter, and Alpo, right? That's what the movie was based upon, paid in full. And actually the first movie that's supposed to have been an expanded version of it was New Jack City. But they distorted and changed it and when AZ got out, then Damon Dash got the rights, the rights to the story of AZ came coming from the book Game Over. And then when Damon Dash and them, they had Rock of Films, they turned around, made the movie, paid in full. It's a hood classic, and AZ, the actual gangster, didn't get hardly nothing out of it. But this is the real original Rockefellers. Now, they they also uh, they got to hustle these rock boys. They got their own hustle. You know, and it's not, you know, uh, it is not, uh, put, put your face, how, how does it start off? I said, uh, let your hair out the window. I just hit a score. Pick any place on the planet. Pick a shore. Check out them frauds. Figure them, figure them all. For they forgot to account what I did with that raw. And take the time to pick apart some stores. Take a week in the freaking the frigger frost. I figure frost never hit a lick before, so they don't know the feeling when them things get across. No, they got their own hustle. And this hustle ain't about that white powder, it ain't about them cakes, it ain't about them birds. <laughs> Jay Z equipped the crew to hustle and to build a Rockefeller dynasty. So did Christ equip, the, Christ equip and send the original Rockefellers to build his kingdom. Matthew 10, 5 says Jesus sent the 12 disciples out and these instructions don't go to the Gentile Samaritan, but only to the people of Israel, God's lost sheep, and go and announce to them that the kingdom of their, the original Rockefellers had to go hustle for those souls. So are you saying Jay-Z actually read the Bible to know that he's trying to do all the stuff? No, I'm saying I know the Bible good enough that I can compare the two. So is he not deliberately comparing? No, that's me doing that. No, I know that, but is he not understanding that he's trying to do something? Consciously doing what I'm talking about? No. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just boldly say it. No. Okay. Because I'm going to say this. Because I'm going to say this. Because I'm going to say this. 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 I'm Christ used his Rockefellers, his Rockefellers to build his kingdom. Matthew 28 says, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, which is Jesus' name. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands that I have given you. So they have to hustle. He got them soul hustling. They got to hustle up on them souls, just like you need to be hustling up on souls, bringing them into the kingdom. To build this dynasty. Building a rock nation. Matthew 16. Now I say unto you that you are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church and all the powers of hell will not conquer it. There is no Illuminati, trilateralism, foreign relations, or a new world order that can come against this kingdom. When this rock nation is built, it doesn't matter. Foreclosures won't matter. Wall Stock 
Wall Street falling doesn't matter. Stocks declining doesn't matter. <laughs> nothing can compare, nothing can stop this juggernaut or this unstoppable movement of the church, nothing. If we are all wiped out today, that we will be replenished with somebody else that will build his church, which is part of the real rock nation. Whatever you lock on earth will be locked in heaven, and whatsoever you open on earth will be open in heaven. When you don't tell somebody the gospel, then you confine them to their sins. But when you tell them about the gospel, it gives them an opportunity to obey God and get out of their sins. You want to sign? You want to contract with Rock Nation? Do you want to contract with Rock Nation? Then repent. <laughs> then repent. And let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This is the real contract. If you want part of this real rock nation, then you sign up. Sign up. And you can be part of the real rock nation. But see, here's the thing about it. Here's the thing about it. That if we actually were charged, like corporate America charges you, when you violate a contract, a lot of us would be locked up and broke. You know why? Because if you violate a contract, you are quick to be sued. Because you're supposed to perform, you're supposed to be doing this, and if you don't do it, guess what? We're gonna tag your, park, your pockets through court. Some of us have signed up and never came to work. <laughs> Say, yeah, I'm on board, <laughs> I'm ready to do whatever, but you haven't come to work. Then it's a three parts because sometimes you can get a job offer, and then you got to go to the clinic, and then you got to get references. Well, some of us, we've only done one of the three things. We haven't done everything. But we still call ourselves part of the company. Some of us repent, but we never got water baptized and filled. Some have been baptized and filled, but we haven't, been re we haven't repented nor received the gift of the Holy Spirit. Then some of us have been baptized and have been filled, but refuse to repent because you enjoy yourself. We won't line up with the contract. And in order to be effective with your contract, you got to do everything the contract requires. Because it's binding. It's binding. But the CEO of Rock Nations loves you so much that he gives you a little le leeway. But you do know that that leeway, you ever, call, you, ever, you ever been late on the payment, they call it like a grace period, or you need a period? See, that grace period is gonna run out. And you're gonna have to pay up for not abiding to the contract. And this is lined up in, this is in the contract, all 66 books of the contract, that's how thick that contract is. It's 66 books that we call the Bible. That's how thick that contract is. And all the, con and the theme of the contract is powerful. Because if you read a lot of contracts, the contract majority of the times always leans to the company that owns it. Here, the contract is to your benefit. The contract is to your benefit. And you need to sign up and line up with God's contract so you can be a real part of Rock Nation. Amen? Hey, God bless you. Listen, I know you enjoyed that lesson. 
Don't perp, don't fake it. I know it was hot. I mean, come on. We're dealing with cutting edge issues that you as a young adult need to be hearing. Listen, if you think that was something, you think the little small excerpt was really something, you need to be out here at a live service, at a live class. This class is on and Holy Ghost popping. Hey, we're dealing with cutting edge. Where else you gonna learn about Christ the tattoo artist? Rock aware where Jesus is the rock and we need to put on Christ. The Illuminati, where else you gonna get it? You gonna get it here at Sunday Bible School. That's right, we putting a twist on things. We, we are taking this thing to a whole new level. Hey, I got a whole lot I could say, but it's best for me to say it in person when I see you here this coming Sunday at 9.15, one hour a week you can give to the Lord. I look forward to you, look forward to seeing you. Tell your neighbor, tell, tell your friend, take this clip, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, get the word out there. Bring your family members out because you need to be in this class where the power of God is moving. We want to thank you for tuning in once again. Look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday. Thank you. Peace out. Inside of us, he took the rap for us, he took a slap for us. They put him in the grave in three days, he came back for us. He's my savior, he's a god of the city. He's my savior.